Hello and welcome to your video. In this video, we'll go through the Joomla 4 Alpha 10 release. Uh, looking from the press release here, we can see there's a cleaner code base, Joomla installation is faster. Uh, it was really the same, the installation three step, you know, just standard asking for site information and then the database and, you know, then done deal. So I didn't see anything change here. Uh, brand new user interface. I think the user interface is same. So this is Joomla 4 Alpha 10. This is 9. Uh, there isn't much difference uh, as far as I can see. I could be wrong, but uh, I'm, I'm positive there are differences in between uh, inside the web for us all. So it's uh, now accessible uh, the power of Joomla framework merge into CMS again this is code we can't really see it in this small video uh, fully rebuilt media manager let's go look at the media manager if we can real quick so if we go to content and media now in the newer version the media manager allows you to do a lot of stuff like editing the image and everything so you want to make it smaller let's say you know all of this you can do that and let's say I want to crop it so I'm gonna try to make it just the Joomla logo okay so I have to change this uh, yeah I have to change this so if I'm changing the aspect so now I can just keep the Joomla logo save and close and now it's only the Joomla logo well the files cache that's why you don't see it but yeah here you go so that's that's something that has been coming up in the newer version and obviously there are more tools here uh, we can rename the file here right here we can download the file get a link to the file uh, so this is good this is something new this would let us see the image and again it's not really about sharing with it with others it's more about using it within the content if you want to so this is all good you can delete it you can just view it to zoom it right here and again in the editing you have crop resize rotate and whatever else you want to do. I'm sure these options would increase as, as we go on, you know, as the newer version comes up. Uh, the next is a new publishing work, workflow. I don't know what is uh, what this is, to be honest with you. I know Joomla has uh, this uh, thing coming up. Uh, I can't seem to find it here. Something, something about the uh, publishing. Uh, it might be here. Uh, so content security policy, I know that's different and I need to make a video on that one, but uh, there's a new publishing workflow. Oh, there you go. So there's a workflow. I need to, there's a default workflow and there are four stages here. So yeah, okay. So, you know, it's probably how an article works. I, I, I don't know how this would work. What if we want to, yeah, can, can we create a new workflow? Okay. New workflow. And then. I, I, yeah, this is kind of new. I wouldn't know how this works, but let's just give it a try. So this is a new workflow. We edit it and we can't add items in here, can we? So this also has four stages. Oh, okay, so I think, uh, okay, so maybe we can add a stage here, but there are only four. Yeah, okay. So I think it's it allows you to reorder these. Like if you won't delete an item, it normally gets archived or something like that. Yeah, I think this is not final, so we won't dig into this a lot, but this would be finalized before the release, so we'll look at that later. Uh, new security features, again, can test it in this video. Web services, now this is a very exciting feature that has been talked about a lot for Joomla 4, um, which, which is all your data will be available uh, via an API, so if you want to access your website's articles or, or your website's users or, or you know, uh, all the files or the categories, the modules menu, anything, you will be, a, via an API, using uh, granted you have access to the system and I don't know how that would work. Maybe they'll work with a username and password or maybe they'll work some other way, but this API will let you easily create systems where uh, this web services will let you create easily create APIs where you can easily make this content accessible. We'll try to get a video on that in the next few weeks where we kind of demonstrate how that works, but that's the real power in the newer Joomla version where all of your data uh, is now 
uh, available via the API and it's kind of prototyped that way that extension developers now can use that feature and make the data available as well. And then we have the enhanced event dispatching system. Now, for those of you who don't know, uh, events in Joomla are like webhooks, which can trigger. So, you know, you can say uh, whatever, you, you wanna send out a notification whenever a new article is created or whenever a user is deleted or whenever a new extension is installed, you can do that. That's what events do. Uh, reworked application and command line interface and much more. So, I guess, Joomla is evolving, it's improving much more as we see in the newer versions. And before the end of the year, before the Joomla 4 official beta release, I think we'll see much more improvements. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a good rest of your day or night, depending on whenever you're watching this.